They draw him even on the scorecards of a couple of the judges. This is round number 11. Dandy of a fight for of you watching around the world. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan and glad that you can be with us from the Sala Polivalenta here in Bucharest, Romania. And right now, the favorite son in Adrian Diaconu has the crowd very, very happy. And again, Mike Griffin checks the heads coming together. There's blood coming from someplace. And I can't tell whether it's from the nose of Diakono. I saw a big uh, splash of blood shoot up in the air, but I can't tell you where it's from. Diakono looks very, very tired. And Chris Henry can't succumb to this right now because he needs these rounds desperately. That time he pushed Diakono down. And that shows me that Diakono's legs are weak. Henry could jump on this guy, keep the pressure on him. He might be able to pull a miracle upset here. Because right now, Diakonu looks arm worried to me and his legs look like they're almost shot. And he may be cut by the left eye. I can't, I really can't tell. Well, this is a close-up shot. No, it's just real puffy. The question is how much more does Chris Henry have as well? Because it's been a grueling pace where both guys have landed very hard punches and Diakonu has to hang on and he's blasted it inside. Really rocked by that right hand. And he looks to the referee for help. Diakonu grabs him and walks him back on his heels, but there's a lot of time in this 11th round. As the chant goes up, Audrey, Audrey, for Adrian uh, Diakonu. Henry clipped him again with a good shot. Henry's got this guy in trouble, and I don't know if he realizes it. Diakonu's very heavy in the heels. He's loose in the knees, and Chris seems to have a lot of power left in him. And I just don't know if he realizes he's got him hurt. Diakono leaves his feet to throw his shot. Where's the uppercut from Chris? Now here's Diakono who sucks it up and lands a shot of his own. Chris Henry having a whale of an 11th round. And Diakono somehow is surviving it without going down. There's been no knockdowns in the fight. And then he falls down again. That's the weakness in his legs. He's being pushed down, Lennox Lewis style, and Henry just clocked him with an uppercut. You know, in spite of the fact that Diakono is out in front of this fight, Henry can still win this thing as we go to the 12th round. That was uh, Henry's round. I'm going to score it unofficially 105 to 103, and we have reason to believe after eight rounds that perhaps two of the judges have it the same way. So as you look at the replay, and you see Henry just clocked him with that uppercut, but he hasn't been able to drop this guy. If he drops him in the 12th round, there'd be only one points separating the two fighters. Right now, I've got three points separate. Actually, I've on my score sheet, I've got two points separating the two fighters going to the 12th round. Diakonu's got to suck it up. And he did in the 11th round. The chance go up, RD, RD. Adrian Diakonu from Romania, the 12th and final round. Here we go. This has been a terrific prize fight as the uppercut that Ronnie Shield called for very early in the fight. And in the last couple of rounds, Henry still has an opportunity of pulling this thing out. Diakonu knows after the eighth round that he was comfortably out in front and the judges' scorecards, but Henry had a good ninth round and a good eleventh round. So he's back in the fight, but he would need to still drop him to have any chance of winning this fight. All Diakonu has to do really is box and stay away from him. But again, that's not the nature of the prize fight, even though it would be the smart thing to do. Henry trying to catch him with a big, powerful shot. Diakono again looks arm weary to me. He's very heavy in the thighs, heavy in the heels, loose in the knees. And Henry doesn't realize how maybe shot that Diakono is right now. But he's doing the best he can. But the pace has been grueling. It's been tough. See Diagonal 
When you see a guy falling around like that, it's because his legs are mostly shot. And he's been that way for a couple of rounds. Henry really hasn't been able to capitalize on it. And here he is now on the assault. Now he needs to come with the uppercut. Diagono doing everything he can to hang in there. And that's really all he has to do. And he's got the fight won. The crowd comes to life. The left hook was good. Everything else was taken on the gloves. Henry continues to come forward. This has been a terrific fight. Henry has him with the back to the ropes. He needs to come with that uppercut. Mike Griffin pushes him out by the head. Loads up the right hand and it whistles past the nostrils of Diakono. He's trying to catch him with that right hand. Hasn't been able to drop him, although Diakono's been down three times in the fight. It's all been from what I call lazy legs. Now he shows some hand speed and some courage to finish this fight as strong as he can. And there he goes as he's batted down to the ropes. Let's see if they can score that. A knockdown or not as he falls through the ropes. He was sitting down on the ropes, and obviously it's not considered a knockdown. I just saw the reaction of the referee. But he's out on his feet. Believe me, he's out on his feet. And look at this as they battle. Inside of 26 seconds to go. And this fight isn't settled yet. 20 seconds to go. They're both out on their feet. What a fight. Diakonu doing everything he can do. They chew up seconds in this final round. Henry is definitely the stronger of the two, but he's run out of time. Diakonu has to hang on by the leg, and that's it, the fight's over. So Henry, on my score sheet, wins three out of the last four rounds, but still it won't be enough, I don't think, to win the fight. I'm going to score 114, 113. I have one point separating this fight. Man, if Henry had ever knocked him down because Diakonu was out on his feet in the 12th and final round, and he did everything he'd do to hang on and prevent himself from getting knocked down. This was a terrific prize fight. Wow. A lot of credit to our promoter, Christian Ganescu, Stefan LaRouche of Innerbox. Great job putting these fights together. While we have an opportunity, I want to thank our producer, Jason Bidell, our coordinating producer, Jeff Hager, for the great job. Our statisticians, Dan Raphael, Laura Taylor, Nobu Ikushima. We appreciate all of your work. Well, turned out to be a wonderful promotion for Gangor Promotions. President Basescu uh, was here in attendance for the fight and is here, and we await the decision. On my score sheet, I have Diagono winning by one point, 114, 113. And on my score sheet, unofficially, Chris Henry winning three of the last four rounds, but unable to drop Diagono who was actually down about four or five times, but none of them officially. All by weak legs at the end, but strong enough to probably pull out this win. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a decision. Judge Mark Green scores it 116-113. Orange Schellenberger scores it 115-113. And Victor Panin scores it 115, 113. All in favor of the winner by unanimous decision of new WBC light heavyweight intro champion, the Shark. So Diagono is the unanimous decision winner. The judges had it by two points and three points. I had it by one point. But a terrific victory for Adrian Diakonu. And look at the celebration here in Bucharest, Romania. How about the atmosphere here 
and Bucharest, Romania.